In this video, I'm going to be telling you about what to pack if you're coming as an international student to Malaysia or any other country. So, one more thing before we start the video is that, guys, make sure you watch the complete videos because mostly I'm getting comments and messages on my Instagram that are based on the things that I've already mentioned in the videos. So, watch the complete video and then contact me, alright? What's up, guys? How are you? My name is Abdul Moiz and I'm an international student in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and like my videos and uh, check out other videos. I'm going to drop a link in the description. They're based on uh, many topics I've covered most, like uh, my room, if you want to check out my apartment and the rates in Kuala Lumpur for uh, accommodation of the off campus, also on campus, which is better, and then groceries where you can get them, uh, part-time jobs, what are the opportunities, and what are your monthly expenses, your first month expenses. I've covered them all, so make sure you can check that as well. So let's start. First things first, while packing for Malaysia or any other country, you're coming here and you're going to live like in hostelite. So if you're new to hostel life, then you should know that the first thing you need are the most basic things, which includes your toiletries. So I'm going to start with, you may need to pack your uh, hand soap, then your face wash, your shampoo, your body wash, your toothbrush and your toothpaste. And uh, with them, make sure you get a bag like uh, a small washable bag which is uh, like waterproof or something so, so if you have a bag you can just carry it to the washroom and when you're done you just carry it back to, uh, to your room after that you're gonna need a to uh, towels one face towel a small one and then a medium size or large one whatever you prefer and kitchen appliances for kitchen uh, what I found handy was a saucepan along with the saucepan you may need two or three plates in which you can eat then uh, maybe one or two cup, one cup should be enough, and uh, two to three spoons, two to three forks. Then you may need a washing sponge, just one. Because uh, the thing is that what I'm mentioning in this video, the th all the things, are to make your life easier. Because definitely you can get all of these things in Malaysia as well. If you bring these things to Malaysia in the first place, then they wouldn't be an additional stress. Because once you come here, you have too many questions and too many things going on. You have to do the university filling, your form fillings and everything. You're setting up your classes and you're setting up your room and everything. So if you don't have these basic things, you're going to be running to the grocery stores. And that will be an additional stress to you that, oh, I don't have this, I don't have this. How am I, how, how will I like uh, wash my hands? And it's, it's an additional headache. So bring it with you. It's, it's going to be easier. Uh, after that, you may need a bowl, two to three bowls and uh, maybe one or two clips I guess that's enough for your kitchen appliances then the rest what you need you can buy from here alright so uh, we're done with the toiletries and with the kitchen appliances now you have your clothing make sure you get t-shirts trousers and some shorts for your uh, these will be for your casual use like if you're going to going out with your friends or while sleeping in sleeping suits and all these things and uh, then you're gonna need some formal dressing Make sure you get uh, one to two uh, proper suits for full formal functions and the formal occasions where the teachers ask you to make uh, dress properly. And then you have your daily routine university dressing. That will include, I mostly wear casual shirts, button up shirts because they ask you to wear formal so you cannot wear formal every day. It's easier to wear casual shirts with uh, jeans and you can get some uh, cotton pants, cotton pants. And after that, uh, your shoes two to three pairs of shoes which include one formal shoes for your uh, suits two to three joggers for your everyday and going out everywhere it's gonna be used in all purposes and uh, then you have make sure uh, one more thing you must have a slippers one pair of slippers because you're gonna need that while going to the washroom and uh, in your apartment also when you don't feel like wearing shoes so uh, one pair of slippers is very important then you have your undergarments, make sure you have them in good quantity, which will last you for a week and then you can do your weekly laundries. Oh, uh, one more thing for your clothing, you're gonna need a hairbrush, yeah, yeah, some hangers, maybe it depends on how much clothes you're bringing for the shirts, because for the pants, I don't think you're gonna need hangers. Uh, I got like 12, so it helped me a lot. I just uh, got my clothes all uh, ironed from Pakistan while I was coming. And when I reached here, I just opened them up and hung them up in the cupboard. So it's good because you cannot iron every day because you have a tough schedule here as an international student. Also, it's tough, man. It's not easy to do it every day. 
So just do it once and then you can last for maybe like a week or two weeks, then you have to do your laundry and then you can iron them up and then hang them up again. Your tech items, your mobile phones, make sure you get your chargers. Oh, one more thing. In Malaysia, the switch is a three pin, but it's a different one. The three pin, it, it's not the same in we use in Pakistan and in India. So your switches are not gonna plug in this one. You can order one uh, universal switch, plug uh, not that expensive because uh, it, it's gonna be easier but if your phone has enough battery and if you have a power bank then it's fine you can come here and get one from here uh, also for guys if you have a beard then uh, you can get a trimmer do get that because in Malaysia the barber uh, is expensive also it's different they use machine all the time on the hairs I don't want that I ask them to use scissors they say no go to a saloon and it's, it's a bit difficult so if you have a beard uh, and you have a trimmer then you can just groom it regularly maybe two or three days so it's gonna be easier and cheaper if you don't know how to use a trimmer then learn how to use it also if you can get some uh, two to three packets of noodles instant noodles so that uh, on the first day or second day you can cook them because uh, definitely you're gonna eat outside in the first uh, two three days then you're gonna be start then you're gonna start cooking yourself so uh, for those if you have a noodles then it's gonna be easier Alright guys, that's it for today's video and I think I covered all the items. If I forget one and if you think of one, you can just comment down in the section. Uh, these are all the things that I brought to Malaysia. I'm going to mention this again that you can get all of these and more in Malaysia or any other country you're going. But if you bring them with you, it's going to be very convenient for you. And for your toiletries like uh, face wash and your shampoo and everything, it, they depend on the things that, that suit you. So if you're going to just uh, try new ones, just on the first day you're coming here it's gonna be a stress also it's gonna be a bit difficult so if you get yours then it's gonna be good so uh, that's it for today's video guys make sure you subscribe my channel and like the videos as well so take care Allah Hafiz see you in the next video